First thing I do when I wake up in the morning before fasted cardio, before my first meal, is I run to the kitchen and take my supplement. So first being fish oil. Fish oil basically helps with your heart and immune system. They're like the main factors. There's other little things that it also helps with, but I'm just gonna stick to the main stuff. Vitamin D. This basically helps with your immune system and bones and potassium. I'm gonna be 100% honest here. I have no idea what the potassium actually helps with, but all I know is that it hardens up my shits and that is a key factor in maneuvering throughout the day comfortably. <laughs> is heat up my coffee, um, go sit outside on the balcony, enjoy that coffee with Jackson, that's typically my morning routine, and then following that, jump right into fasted cardio. Come here, bud. Just hopped out of the shower. All I really did before meal one or after meal one was walk Jackson, answer a few emails, take a relatively long shower, and 
before I knew it, it's already time to eat meal two. So you can see how the day can kind of get away from you when you realize you have to eat six meals throughout the day with training 40 minutes of cardio and also the other stuff that you would have to do throughout the day. But this is not a typical Tuesday for me. Usually I would be uh, working, but because of my uncle's funeral, I took a few days off of work just to kind of get my head back into the game. Um, so this is the final day I'm taking off and it gives me a chance to really just relax uh, focus on my meals, training, and um, of course making this vlog. Final product, not too bad. All right guys, so it is currently 11.45, just finished up meal two. Now, usually I go to bed around 10.30, but lately I haven't been going to sleep until at minimum like 12.45 every night. So I've been missing on about two hours of sleep when I usually try to get eight to nine hours of sleep, trying to maximize my rest time during a prep. Um, I've been getting like seven hours of sleep on average. So what I'm about to do now, make up for lost time, take a brief nap for about 45 minutes, um, eat meal three in about an hour, hour and a half. One thing I completely missed the mark on last prep was maximizing my sleep, especially because I was in college. I was up till dead of night either playing video games, late night studying, or submitting homework that was done at midnight. But this time around, I've realized the importance of maximizing my sleep, especially now that I'm working from home. I can kind of almost like make my hours as long as I get my stuff done throughout the day. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Have a little bit of a uh, partner with me. Say hey, Jax. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do now. Take a brief nap and then see you guys at meal three. What we have here is six ounces of ground turkey, 240 grams of sweet potatoes, and 85 grams of broccoli. Now, typically this is my least favorite meal of the day. But ever since my coach allowed me to switch out my grilled chicken for my ground turkey, it's been a world of difference. I meal prep all my food in advance. Actually, my mom meal preps all my food in advance, and I have to pick it up from her every Saturday. So as it got closer to the end of the week, heating up the grilled chicken, recooking it almost was unbearable. It just kind of felt chewy and, and just unappetizing. So since we made the switch, this meal has been 10 times better. But at the same time, I do miss the asparagus over the broccoli and the rice over the sweet potatoes. So we have the sriracha sauce that we sprinkle on top of the ground turkey, which makes a big difference. If you can't see, I actually put the broccoli as well as the asparagus in the air fryer and just fry the shit out of it. I don't know why, I love the switch of the texture and the flavor is pretty damn good as well. And the sweet potatoes are simple, just put them in the microwave, they've been good. I just sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top. Sweet potatoes have been my least favorite meal since the first prep and it still carries true to today. But the only thing that makes this meal a little better, again, like I said, sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon, but even still, I still can't chew it and swallow it. I hate the texture. The taste isn't even as bad. It's, for some reason, it's just the texture. So I'll put water in my mouth, put the sweet potato in my mouth, and then swallow it like whole. And it's probably not the best for your digestive system, but at the end of the day, calories in first, calories out, and um, it, it goes down. So I'm going to eat this meal now, and then I will see you guys at meal four. All right, guys, so a wrench has been thrown in this full day of eating video. Not exactly sure how we're going to go about it, but the power just went out due to a massive tornado warning slash storm that's coming through, and um, it is insane. I'm going to post a few of the videos that I was taking. I was actually outside walking Jackson when it hit, and just debris was flying at me. It was just insane. Let's see. Absolutely destroyed. insane but now that the power is out again my air fryer doesn't work our oven doesn't work our stove microwave 
all that good stuff. So it looks like we're gonna have to find a way around this full day of eating, whether it's cut into two days or whatever it might be. Hopefully the power comes back on in a few. Two hours later. I put that big ass rock there. So quick change of plans. I'm actually on my way to the gym now. The power in my apartment complex and in general area is still out. So I'm unable to heat up meal four, which is my pre-workout meal. And I have no reason to believe that my power is gonna come back on in time for me to heat up meal five. And um, so I'm bringing that along with me as well. I have no idea if my gym's power is even on and I still have to get my workout in. I still have to eat three meals. And right now I'm just fingers crossed and praying for the best. I was thinking about scratching this video in its entirety, just making a more realistic all full day of eating. But I realized, especially in 2020, if there's one thing I realized, life is unpredictable and you have to roll with these punches. So this is gonna be as raw as it gets when it comes to a full day of eating. If my gym's power is not on, I'm gonna have to figure something out. This might have to be my off day. And when it comes to my meals, I'm gonna have to try to find somewhere that either has a microwave or someone's power that's not out in the area that I know, figure something out. But if there's a will, there's a way. So fingers crossed and I'll see you guys at the gym. Um, yes, it's in the back. Let me show you it. My shit is in the way, I'm sorry. Uh, thanks, you won't believe my power went out in my apartment. No, I, everyone's like, it's been the same. But lucky enough, the gym owner does have a microwave here in the back. So, this is meal four. This consists of 225 grams of white rice, 85 grams of asparagus, and six ounces of ground turkey. Look at that, they're even nice enough to have utensils. All right guys, so I'm gonna eat meal four now. Ideally, I would wanna wait like an hour before I ate and worked out, but again, not an ideal situation. So I'm gonna eat this in my car. I cannot eat it in there, it's, it's uncomfortably hot. The uh, garage doors are open, which are nice, but today is just an absolute humid day, so. Hey Taz. Taz! Hmm. Yo, wake up man, it's your verse. What? It's your verse, dude. Oh shit, right now? Yeah, right now. Wake up in the morning, cut the TV on and see niggas lying again. Put you in the car for slap you in your office, then leave with all of your pins. I ain't giving nothing bad, loyal to the pad, pennies being dry, money getting stashed, snakes in the grass, too many rats, shit is up and down, it's hard being black. Really, I be calling out my enemies, never let a hater finish me. Bitch, you know this ain't no charity, only thing we giving out is energy. Riley got it covered, that's my brother, we hit you with lethal weapons, Danny Glover, recover and get the number from your mother, tongue stuck to my pole, dumb and dumber. Why you wanna get on my bad side? Why you wanna see me be the bad guy? Niggas wanna see me do mad crime. Nigga fuck around, get flatlined. I've been on shit since diapers. About to go DC sniper. Now I'm feeling really rowdy like I'm Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper. Roddy, Roddy, Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper. Roddy, Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper. Now I'm feeling really rowdy like I'm Roddy Piper. Shout out to the guy though. This is my god flow, need money pronto Make me a honcho Challenge me, I go super saiyan god mode This shit is benevolent, I'm in my element My lady look like Maleficent I get no fuss like I'm celibate I don't like people, don't even trust relatives Follow your heart, nigga Love what you got, don't look at the deficit Don't get ahead of yourself I pull out the weapon, I call it the sedative Pull it out, roll that weed Shit is all good as weed Test when the motherfucker sees I'm jumping off stage like Assassin's Creed Oh my god just finished up my workout, so disregard this mess, but power's still out back home. Thank God I remembered to bring meal five with me, my post-workout meal. The most important meals to eat in order is meal four, which is the pre-workout, and meal five post-workout. I was gonna save this for the end of the video, but I wanna discuss a little bit why I was hesitant to make a full day of eating video, even though it has been the most requested throughout you know, the entirety of this prep. My kind of diet is not for the norm. The only reason I say that, don't get me wrong, that you can eat the same exact foods that I'm eating and get great results, but I'm talking about long-term sustainable results. Eating this way for an extended period of time can have tons of issues on your body. One, affecting your digestive system. Two, your metabolism. I remember after my first prep, my metabolism was shot. As soon as I started introducing normal, normal foods back into my diet, 
I was completely drenched in sweat throughout the night for a minimum of three weeks. It was it was horrible. Not to mention that on top of eating disorders. This is an iffy topic when it comes to bodybuilding and just world in general, but 100% eating disorders will come from eating this kind of way. As soon as you get a chance, as soon as you reach a goal, as soon as you find an excuse to go back to the way you were eating previously, your body is going to completely reject the food. The way to eat clean, flexibly, and smart, all while losing a substantial amount of body fat without eating the way I do. I do it for an angle, I do it for a prep. Now, when I'm in the off season, my diet is completely flexible. Now, it's gonna be a lot more strict than normally. Say, for example, I go pro, but we're gonna cross that bridge when we get there. My biggest recommendation, guys, if you are taking notes, if you are trying to write down the same exact numbers that I'm using, chances are it's not gonna work for you like it is for me. Everybody's body is different. You gotta find the exact calorie maintenance that works for you and then complete, and then slowly decrease your deficit from there. Please, if, I, if you guys get anything from this message, do not copy the same exact meal plan that I'm doing. It won't work for you like you might think it will. Again, find what works for you. If you're looking for long-term sustainable results, I promise you, find a little bit of flexibility within your diet. Have a little bit of freedom. When I say freedom, I do not mean pizza, pancakes, waffles, French toast. <laughs> See, that's the first thing that comes to mind, not, not, not even hamburgers. I eat the same six meals every single day. So find 20 meals that you like, that are healthy, that you can interchange throughout your diet, and find a way to find a sense of normalcy whenever you can. If you're going out with your friends, don't hesitate to, you know, let loose, have a little bit of fun, eat what you want, drink a little bit. As long as you're doing so moderately and responsibly, I promise you guys, the results are gonna be there, the lifestyle that you want is going to be there, and your results are gonna be a lot more sustainable and long-term. Meal five, post-workout meal, consists of 215 grams of sweet potatoes, 100 grams of broccoli, and six ounces of ground turkey. All right guys, it is currently 10.05 at night. Power is still out and um, all I have left to eat are my shredded wheats, 100 grams, and egg whites and eggs. Obviously not going to eat the eggs, but for the egg whites. I'm helping your life. <laughs> as Meg sits here and eats a pizza. <laughs> I'm going to actually drink my egg whites. I've never done this before. I've heard that it's okay to do. This is disgusting though. Mm, protein. 90 grams. So we're gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed the full day of eating. I know it didn't typically go as planned, but when it comes to prep, especially in 2020, nothing goes as planned. So I appreciate it. If you guys can, like, subscribe, click the bell button, and um, <laughs> while Megan's in the background. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.